Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another match for World of Warships here on Not Your Professional Walkthroughs channel with me, your host Max. On this one we will be taking a look at the premium tier 7 Japanese destroyer Udachi which I was able to obtain during the last year Christmas loot box bonanza or simply called gambling. So yeah. I have received this ship and I usually do not play it. I don't like to play destroyers specifically, but currently I am grinding out the Dutch cruiser in the dockyards and one of the events is to successfully get 100 hits or 100 kills with the destroyers so i have decided what the heck let's go and see how well can i go against the players because what i usually do in some of these events is that i simply grind out match after match where i go against the ai and i know that each match i will land at least bunch of torpedoes because the ai simply sucks but I have decided, what the hell, let's give it a shot, see how bad it can go. I usually tend to play a bit more aggressively, so that means pushing forward and trying to contest the zones and trying to see what I can do. And usually in 90% of all the cases, I end up dying as one of the first four ships in the entire match. So as you can see already, the enemy has contested or is trying to contest Two out of three points, we see that the Schultz is there and there is also one additional Japanese destroyer on the B point. We have our ally over here who is trying to launch torpedoes. So the Akatsuki is launching torps, but it has a really bad angle from which he will not be able to land the shots. So, so I'm trying to open up at the Shoryatsu in order to at least somehow slow down the contestant the contesting of the b point but unfortunately udachi is a horrible horrible gunboat so you are a lance launcher you should not be using your primary armament at all you have great range on these torpedoes they go over 12 kilometers which for tier 7 is kind of ridiculous so that is why i'm trying to do at least the minimal defending and here i'm trying to turn around in order to get better angle so that if they would try to back up or do some maneuvering the torpedoes might be able to find the target and land now the second set of torpedoes was kind of sent in the middle of nowhere but i wasn't really sure where the enemy is gonna go to so i see the first potential target unfortunately the enemy destroyer has disappeared in all the smoke so it's impossible for me to secure the kill here and soon enough we're gonna find out that he is gonna get killed as is so that's first kill already and unfortunately also our friendly Kotsky here has also received quite a lot of damage but we can still see that the Schultz is trying to contest the B point refusing to move away firing at whatever ships are moving onto the a point trying to support the flank at least that way and so what i try to do here is try to move on top of the b which is being contested right now akatsuki is launching torps but i don't think that the schultz would willingly go from beyond the island and here are some other targets present themselves so we do know that schultz is here behind the island most likely he will not leave so what i see here that our flank we have nagato and the sinop which are backing off and trying to somehow bypass the islands and trying to prevent our allies from contesting the a point so what i try to do here is launch the torpedoes at the enemy nagato so i launched the two sets of torpedoes and here we have a really nice wide coverage of the lances and if the Nagato would actually manage to somehow turn and show us the broadside we can 
theoretically get a kill but with the torpedoes on such a long range it's it's usually just spray and pray so you don't really have that much of a strategy so what i decided to do here just to be on the safe side is launch or use the consumable for the super rapid reload which as you can see allows me to launch another two sets of torpedoes but I am noticing that there's an enemy destroyer who is moving away from the sea and it has extremely low HP and on top of it I need to keep in mind that there's still the enemy shots so I really have to be careful here because I do not know if there are torpedoes in the water. I don't know what the Schultz is up to, so I'm trying to back up here at least a bit so I can launch the torpedoes at the enemy destroyer. And as we can see, the enemy destroyer over here, the Sims, is at 55 HP. He was able to launch or dodge those shots, but I was able to find him and successfully land the kill and also it looks like some torpedoes which i previously launched were able to find another target and acquire me a kill now i'm still not really sure how that really happened i'm gonna have to go into like the replay to find out what actually got killed by the torp but here you can see that the Schultz was destroyed by the flooding caused by the torpedo which I was able to launch and because I still had one set of torpedoes the enemy Nagato unfortunately ran into my broadside and caught four torpedoes which destroyed it and thus giving me the third kill of the match. So the aggressive play in this case is that I'm trying to be here, I'm more stationary than actually moving myself around, which is the stronger point for the ship, especially because it has the engine boost consumable, same as the Georgia and the North Carolina, which are pushing from the D point or the C point, sorry, towards the B point. So because we know that the Udachi has a crazy range on these torpedoes, what I try to do is anticipate what they might do. It looks like actually the North Carolina has one of those horrible consumable camos from the King Kong and Godzilla event which happened and that was a total screw up but anyhow we see that they are turning around so what I try to do is launch the other set of torpedoes the other way around so hopefully we can get a couple of torps in their broadside maybe I have noticed that if you land the torps from broadside it might deal more damage but there's also the damage modifier as to if the torpedo reaches or hits a different section of the ship it deals more damage than if two torpedoes hit the same section of the ship so it highly depends but i see that the ships are moving around they are sticking close together so i'm not sure if they are in a squadron or not and also we see that further down there there's also an enemy alaska so quite the dangerous combination looks like georgia has the engine boost consumable activated you can usually tell by the fact that it's like pumping out a ton of smoke and the funniest thing is that i actually have hopes that the alaska is gonna take the torps but he was able to dodge right between them lucky him who knows if that luck won't run out but what i try to do here is try to give myself the engine boost and try to get ahead of the enemy georgia and the enemy north carolina and thus uh, blocking their path to try and get to the b point which i was able to contest so what i'm trying to do is somewhat anticipate where these ships might go how they might try to turn around the island they can turn rather quickly if they need to but if the georgia has the engine boost i'm not really sure where to launch these torps so i'm trying to anticipate is he turning what's gonna be happening with the north carolina so i'm shooting the torpedoes all over the place and again i'm going through the consumable i'm doing one wide range shot in order to make sure that maybe i will land bunch of torps and looks like george is gonna take a torpedo and a second one but it is super close so what starts to happen here is that the secondaries start to actually open up on my position and that is really bad so what i try to do here is pop a smoke 
another set of torpedoes is able to find the Georgia and so thankfully I was able to dispose of that ship giving me the fourth kill and here the trick is what to do with the North Carolina now if I would be North Carolina, I would probably try to turn behind the island or I would load up HE and just YOLO into the smoke. The American battleship line has received a lot of rework. So now ships like Iowa and Montana have the plotting room too, which you can get for increased accuracy. So you don't have that much of a dispersion. So theoretically you might be able to destroy a destroyer fairly easily, especially with HE shells. But it looks like North Carolina is not interested in the fact that there's a giant smoke in the middle of the water uh, next to him and he is looking like trying to push towards the b point and try to help the enemy alaska try to get the point because right now they are catching up to us they have two points out of three so what i try to do is anticipate where probably the north carolina might go if he's gonna turn inwards to the island or if he's gonna go and further down into the b point but it really looks like he has maybe a tunnel vision ignoring what's happening behind him hard to tell at this point alaska is trying to contest north carolina is trying to contest but he really reads the situation badly and he gets hit by five torpedoes i am so unhappy with this what happens all the shots managed to bounce and someone stole my five fifth kill so i was really upset here because i almost thought holy crap i'm gonna get a crack and then a destroyer which like never happens ever so i open up on the enemy rune in anticipation that maybe just maybe i might be able to steal the kill from the uh friendly zumo but it's hard to tell i am a really bad shot with these guns they have extremely slow reload so having the chances that we are the ones who take down 13,000 points of hp on the enemy rune less likely and because i went so crazy with the shooting on the rune which uh, soon enough gets destroyed i get detected and that is the worst thing you can do around alaska alaska can have both hydro and both radar so as i see my engine being knocked out i try to launch torpedoes and i start turning around and as i see the radar i do not even bother to pop up the smoke what i'm trying to do is move around dodge the projectiles from the alaska because it can be extremely deadly especially at this range so i'm shooting torpedoes all over the place we have 20 seconds on the cooldown for the consumable to fast reload the torpedoes otherwise i would have to wait for almost 50 seconds from this point forward so still trying to dodge the shots i can't believe i was able to dodge three shells or three salvos like this i was really lucky here and what i tried to do because i'm no longer detected and i see that alaska is still trying to stay in that b point and trying to contest it is try to launch the torpedoes again trying to anticipate where it might go it's really hard to tell i actually even gonna ask the team if they can hear stop shooting at the alaska we can see that it's running the repair party so its hp is going down because i really want that kraken it never happens when i play the destroyers and this was a match against an actual players not against bots and so here we can see that the ship is heading the right way and the people are like sorry mate you're not gonna get the kill and the funniest thing is that the zumo shells land but leaving only 700 something hp on the ship and so i was able to get the final blow and get my first kraken for a destroyer so the overall stats were 15 torpedoes which landed i got five kills i got nine floodings thanks to one of the floodings we destroyed the shields i only managed to land just a tiny portion of shells because this is not a gunboat this is a lance launcher so that's how you need to play it and i was really ecstatic to get this fun match and 
and hopefully you're gonna like it too. And for more fun content regarding World of Warships, check out the channel, check out the playlist either at the end of the video or in the video description. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe as I publish fun content like this when I manage to get fun matches, but normally I publish videos on a weekly basis, so you're always gonna have something fun to watch. So I'm gonna wish you a pleasant rest of the day and hopefully I will see you all at the next one. Thank you for watching everyone, stay safe out there and bye bye for now.